Hello and welcome to another Monster Hunter World build video. This is Spider Virus and today in this video I will show you some of my own charge blade builds. been a game of wide range of armors and weapons. Sometimes it is hard to determine which combination to choose from depending on monster's ability, speed and weaknesses. There are 14 different type of weapons and among them charge blade is a very powerful weapon that moves between a sword shield combo and an axe mode. So without further ado Let's dive into our first build. So for this build I've used Fell Shroud Helm Beta, Brachydeum Mail Alpha, Brachydeum Braces Alpha, Fell Shroud Coil Beta, Grand God Spear Feet Beta and Focus Charm Level 3. Moving on to our weapon, I've used Light Break Charge Blade which have a massive 1080 attack, purple sharpness, 180 blast elemental attack, level 4 and 3 slots and I've used level 2 health region. This build is little jewel focused so if you don't have all the jewels feel free to use different ones as whatever you have. So for this build I've used 2 expert blast jewel and 1 expert jewel. 3 critical jewel, 3 challenger jewel and some protection jewel and a blast jewel. Now if we put all these armors, weapon and jewels together we'll have agitator max level 7. This skill increases your attack by 28 and affinity by 20% when the monster in rage. Then we have critical eye level 6 which increases affinity. Blast attack maxed, increases your elemental attack. Health boost maxed, which increases your health bar. Critical boost maxed, simply increases the damage of any critical hits. Focus maxed, this skill increases the charge rate of charge blade. Peak performance maxed, this gives you plus 20 attack power when your health is full. And this is where the health region on the weapon comes into play. Then we have Artillery maxed. This skill increases Charge Blaze attack by 30%. Speed Eating maxed makes you eat any potion faster. And Divine Blazing maxed, which reduces the incoming damage by 50%. On top of the, all that goodness, we have two set for Hazak Armor Bonus. Super Recovery recovers your red health bar faster and two set of Brachidius armor bonuses which is Agitator Secret where you'll gain up to level 7 Agitator skill. Now having everything together we have 1080 attack, purple sharpness, 30% affinity, 280 blast elemental attack and 1013 defense. This build is very strong against fire, water and thunder but a little weak against ice and dragon elements. So that's our first build out of the way, moving on to our next build. For this build I'm using Fell Shroud Helm Beta, Quan Scott Peer Garb Beta, Brachydeum Braces Alpha, Fell Shroud Coil Beta, Quan God's Peer Fit Beta and Focus Charm Level 3. As weapon I have chosen Surface Hell Shield with 1044 attack, white sharpness, 15% affinity, 180 fire elemental attack and plus 15 defense bonus. I have opened this weapon with level 3 slot upgrade, 2 level 5 attack increase, level 4 sharpness and level 5 affinity increase and I have augmented this weapon with Defense Increase Level 1 and Health Region Level 1. 
Now moving on to the tools I have used for the build. I have one expert plus and an expert level one drill, three critical drills, two mighty drills, two challenger maintenance drills, and a flawless maintenance drill. Now combining all this together, we'll have agitator max. This increases attack when monster in rage. Maximum might maxed. Increase your affinity as long as the stamina is full for a period of time. Health is maxed. Critical eye level 3 again increases affinity. Critical boost maxed. Focus maxed. Peak performance maxed. Artillery maxed. Tool specialist maxed. This skill reduces the recharge time for any special tools. Speed eating level 2. Handicraft level 1 increases weapon sharpness. Constitution level 1 reduces stamina depletion when performing certain moves. Defined Blessing level 1 is a good to have skill. Again, we have two set of Valhazak armor banners, Super Recovery that recovers your red health bar faster, and two set of Rajang armor banners, Maximum Might Secret that helps to get Maximum Might to level 5. Finally, with everything we have 1044 attack, white sharpness, 30% affinity, 180 fire attack, and a massive 1028 defense. This build is very strong against fire, water, and thunder, but a little weak against ice and dragon elements. So, there you have it, guys. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, a like and a subscribe would be very much appreciated and thank you for stopping by.